Hi, I'm Shelly Levette with ChildCareLand.com and today I want to share with you calendar puzzles. This is really a fun activity for children to do and all you need to have is old calendars. This is the perfect time of year to put in requests for parents in your classroom or your early learning environment to um, send in their calendars that they will have at the end of the year when they switch over to the, the new calendars for the new year. Of course, you always want to make sure that the calendar pictures that you use are appropriate um, for children and you don't want them to be anything too complicated. So you can even buy calendars at places like Big Lots if you have those or any discount store, the Dollar Tree, they should have calendars too. This is a regular size calendar but you can also use the mini calendar um, pictures for these puzzles as well and I'll show you what you can do with those. But this, like I said, this is a full size calendar piece and what I've done is I've cut it into four different pieces and I've laminated it and I keep them in just simple uh, Ziploc bags. They just store in here and then they pull out the pieces and then they would have to try and put them together. And this one is just a flower. I had a flower calendar and then so that would be that one. Um, there's lots of different kinds of calendars and so um, you have certainly many things to choose from. If you do put a call out for parents to help you uh, with those, uh, you can really get some unique unique ones. This one was an animal, baby animal calendar. Or that. Like so. And again, these are the full size. There we go. You can see a little bit better up here. But it's up to you how many pieces you want to uh, cut it into. I think four is a good size for younger, younger children especially when you have uh, nothing to really distinguish too much what the borders are or um, this is all pretty much the same color. So, you, you know, take that in consideration when you're cutting up how many pieces you would like to do. As I did mention, there are mini calendars out there that are the smaller calendars. And what I do with those is you could do those into four pieces too, like, like I've done with these. Uh, but another thing you can do is you can... Uh, this is again the baby baby animals calendar. These aren't all the pieces. I just wanted to show you an example. Those are um, they're about this size, the mini calendar pieces. And so what I've done is I've cut those in half, all the pages from that particular calendar, and then the children would need to go through and put the um, you wouldn't have them in order, but um, they would need to go through and then put the two pieces of the puzzle that go together like so. So that would be a bag of 12 puzzles, but you don't have to use 12. You put it in how many ever you want. This one was a zebra. And this one is a panda. But again, there's some really cute ones out there. And of course, children love the, the animals. Flowers are nice. Um, I do have these in the flowers too. But again, I just store them in a Ziploc bag in a basket and then children can self-select these to do them. These are great for uh, visual discrimination skills too. So these were the flowers and these are a little more complicated sometimes for children to do. Right here. Oh, am I going to get this one? No. <laughs> See even for me. There we go. And We'll do one more here. These two go together like so. But again, the materials are relatively inexpensive. You just need to um, cut them apart and how many pieces you want. I did on the back of these, uh, I did uh, glue these onto a sheet of cardstock paper and then I laminated them and then I cut them out again. So that may be something you want to do to make them more durable. I think if you use the, the more ex inexpensive calendars, they tend to be more of a thinner type of paper. And so that wouldn't have been too durable. So I did put that on. And sometimes they have calendars, like if you use the mini ones, they already have the calendars um, for the next month or the previous month on the back on there. So I wanted to cover that up. But it's up to you how you choose to set yours up and how you would do yours. For calendar puzzles, I'm Shelly Levette with ChildCareLand.com. And thanks for watching.